So this is going to be a quick video that looks at how to publish a page or more specifically looks at the three different ways to publish a page. So the first way, as you can see, here's my sample. I'm in a sample course that I've created here. So sample one, and you can see I've gone in and I've added some text and some links into a particular page. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I'll have three options down here. Cancel, save, and publish, or just save. Now, the easiest way to save a page is if I know that this page is the way I want it to be in terms of its format and its content, I can just click on Save and Publish. And what it'll do is it will save the file. And as you can see by the blue button up here, um, it is published. Now if I decide after looking at it that maybe I want to go back and change things, I can unpublish it by clicking on the button and when I do that you'll see it turns back to a gray button and then I can go back and edit it again if I want, say there was something I wanted to take out and once again when I'm done I can click save and publish and you can see from that button there that it's published. Now the other way in which I can do it, you see I've got a second sample page, so this is sample two, data collection methods, and I've got my page created, and instead of hitting save and publish, what I can do here is I can just click on this blue save button. And what that will do is it will save the file for me and maybe I want to sleep on it and figure out, you know, is this really the way I want this to look? Make sure that, you know, I've included everything that I want to include and then I, I, I come back to it the next day and I read through it again and review it and I say, yeah, you know, this really is kind of what I want in here. And I can decide at that point to publish it. And I can do that by clicking on this gray publish button and you'll see that it turns green and it has the word published there. Now the third model that I can do is if I've already created these pages. So here I'm at the home page, the Toro home page for of the blueprint for my course and if I click on pages I'll get the home page again but I'll also get this blue button here that says view all pages. And if I click on that, I can scroll down here, you can see, and here's all the pages that I have. And you can see here near the bottom, I've got sample one, which as we just worked on, we just published. Sample two, we just worked on and we just published. But a few minutes ago, I created sample three. And you'll notice that that one isn't published yet. And I can tell that it's not published because it's got this sort of gray do not sign in front of it, whereas all of the other ones have this green check mark. So the third way that I could publish it is if I'm looking at a list of all of the pages, I can just click on that gray circle with the line through it, and you'll see it becomes a green check mark. And then if I hover over it, you can see that it, it said publish and if I hovered over it again it gives me the option to unpublish it but I don't want to do that now. So those are the three ways that I can publish a page inside of Canvas.